Hey, my darling Otter is and welcome back to news from the Otter side. I'm Otter, and I'm here to bring you all the latest factual, real, and totally not made up news from all around the world. In today's top story, the well-known duck doctor, James Waddleworth, has been banned from practicing medicine. The reason? Suspected mallard practice. Reporters from NIFTOS attempted to reach out to him for comment, but we could not make use of the statement he provided due to excessive foul language. We were able to speak with some of the disgraced doctor's former colleagues, and most of them seemed to think it was only a matter of time before this happened. According to our sources which have asked to remain anonymous, it turns out he was a real quack. In other news, we look at the high-profile case of Papa Bear of the Three Bears versus a defendant who has chosen to remain unnamed. After a rousing legal battle against the best lawyers money can buy, it had not been looking good for the Bears' case. Fortunately for Papa, he had indisputable evidence on his side, and the jury was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. The Bear family's opponent is going to prison on charges of breaking and entering, destruction of property, having broken a chair and a bed in the Bear's home, theft of food, and there's also evidence that the intruder may have used the illicit substance fairy dust. This reporter, for one, hopes they goldie lock her up. In our final story of the evening, Local zoos have been thrown into chaos as zookeepers find themselves unable to differentiate between the alligators and the crocodiles. In a move that puzzled many, the administrator of the local zoo system has contacted a local urologist to assist with the problem. More stunning than this choice, however, was the fact that the urologist was able to deftly solve the matter where so many before him had failed. Niftos reporters were able to get a statement from the urologist as to how he was able to handle the situation. The urologist, one Dr. Ivan Peter Freely, simply said, It was just another day in the office for me, though I will say this was the worst case of a reptile dysfunction I have ever seen. And that's it for tonight's most pressing stories. To keep up with the latest earth-shattering and head-shaking news from all around the world, make sure to subscribe to my channel here, as well as our affiliates on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. Links for each will be in the description below. Reporting for news from the Otter Side, I'm Otter HO. Good night, and I'll see you on the Otter Side.